Hello, my name is Dr. Luke Murray, and I'm very excited to announce that due to the dedication of parents, family members, and friends, that we're going to be starting a Chesterton Academy of St. Philip Neri right here in Kansas City. Uh, the school, which we've just had access to, is going to be next to a good council here behind me. And it's going to be a Catholic classical high school. And we've named it in the spirit of St. Philip Neri, as I'll explain. Uh, but first, before I get to that, I just want to first invite you to consider supporting us. Uh, this is a really great endeavor. The Lord has already blessed it tremendously, but we need your support. Over the last few years when I've been working in the college ranks, I've really come to see the need for a deeper formation at a younger age. By the time our students are, you know, leave the house, they go to college, the culture is just very powerful. And a lot of them, due to this confusion and the allurements of the world, are just being swept away. As Bishop Barron has been calling again and again, we need to reach our students at a younger age with solid food, acquainting them with the great classics of our Western civilization and with our Catholic intellectual tradition. So our school is going to be thoroughly Catholic, classical, and in the spirit of St. Philip Neri. So let me explain. But here at Chesterton, we really want to make sure that our faith permeates in everything we do. As Chesterton says, thinking is connecting things. And so no matter what the topic is, ultimately we're connecting it to ourselves, to our real life, but ultimately and always to God. And so the goal of this school is not merely just to form you know, students capable of getting into Ivy League schools or getting good test scores, although I'm confident they will, but it's more than that. It's about forming saints. It's about equipping students for the work of the new evangelization. So it's Catholic. And then classical. What does this mean, this classical education? Well. In short, it means following the tradition of education that goes back to the ancient Greeks and Romans, founded in grammar, logic, and rhetoric. That is, being a good listener, understanding, reading a text, and hearing what someone is saying to you. So we study Latin and the classical languages, logic, the ability to think clearly, right, to reason correctly, something that's so needed in our culture today, and then rhetoric, the ability to communicate effectively and persuasively. Now we'll also of course, you know, going to incorporate math, science, fine arts. Now that's what would traditionally be called the quadrivium. So we're also going to be learning those skills of course. But the point is that we want to start with wonder. We want to stimulate this inner fire of our students, this natural desire that God gave them with this curiosity to think and ask questions. And so we start with the great books, we start with classic texts, and we engage in the Socratic method in dialogue, really asking students, you know, and teaching them how to think, and not so much just what to think, right? So we're not concerned to just tell them all the answers, right? Have them memorize it, spit it out from their short-term memory, and then just, well, <laughs> usually forget it. But we want to incorporate this deep transformation and a formation of the whole person. And finally, the school is named after Chesterton, and here we've also uh, made a commitment to name the school after St. Philip Neri. And both of these characters really enliven this joyful and outgoing uh, spirit that we want to incarnate here at Chesterton. That is a Catholic faith that is confident, that knows where it's come from, but also is outgoing right, and joyful. It's not defensive but is willing to engage with others in a cheerful and kind manner. So we can take our faith seriously, and we do, but we don't have to necessarily take ourselves too seriously. So like St. Philip Neri, uh, we have a good humor and a good joyful spirit. So again, thank you for listening. If you're able to help with your prayers, of course, we need those prayers, but also with your financial contributions, we'd be so grateful. Thank you, and God bless.